starting off this episode on the road. I left the Great Smoky Mountains and drove north to Grayson Highland State Park in Virginia, which was a three hour and 45 minute drive. Before setting up camp, I wanted to explore some of the trails around the park. On my way back to the truck, I ran into one of the things that make this state park so popular. Ponies were released into the state park in 1975 to control plant growth. Since then, the population has thrived and now around 150 wild ponies call these mountains home. The park discourages visitors from petting or feeding the ponies and warns you that they could bite or kick. However, just because they're wild doesn't mean they're shy. Hi. What are you doing? Excuse me. That's my camera. After the hike, I went to the campsite, started to boil some water, and set up the tent. I was going with spaghetti and meat sauce for dinner again because of how good it was the first time. Before I left Grayson Highlands, I wanted to go on one more hike to see the one waterfall within the park. The first part of the hike was easy, but once I hit the Overlook Junction, it became very rocky and steep.
After hiking to the waterfall, it was time to hit the road again. I continued north to a location I've stayed at before in Trout Pond Campground in West Virginia. It was a four hour and 45 minute drive. As soon as I arrived, I parked the truck at the site and took a trail to visit what this campground was named after in Trout Pond. However, what I found was not what I was expecting at all. Trout Pond was almost completely dried up because the sinkhole that created the pond in the first place opened up and drained out the water. Two years ago when I was here, this was a beautiful small pond where I caught my first and only brook trout ever. But now it's a clearing in the woods with a small creek that funnels into a sinkhole. However, there's still Rock Cliff Lake, a man-made lake located near the campground. The lake is home to many species of fish, but it is also home to a lot of red-spotted newts. As the sun was starting to set, I made my way back to the site and I ran into a couple groups of deer along the trail. For dinner this night, I went with a chicken alfredo pasta, which was pretty good, so I gave it an eight out of 10. For breakfast, I cooked up a different breakfast skillet from the one that I've already tried, along with some coffee. I like this one more than the first one and gave it a score of 7 out of 10 without adding any hot sauce. I drove back over to Rockcliffe Lake to get some signal and get a few more shots of the fall colors around the lake. Once I got my route, it was time to hit the road again. I was heading to the most northern campground of this trip at Promised Land State Park in Pennsylvania, which was a little over a five hour drive. I was excited for this stop because my good buddies Ian and Will were driving down to camp with me for a couple days. YouTube. Hello YouTube. What up YouTube? It's me and Will here. Hey, can you get me the lighter? I got a massive thorn nice. in my hand. Hey Google, I mean, hey YouTube. Hey Google. <laughs> Don't worry, I just got Will on his phone. Whatever, sue me. As the boys were waking up and making a fire, I decided to do a little fishing.
got one. <laughs> That's a pickerel. Definitely bigger than those pickerel. See, they have like a bar that comes down under their eye. They definitely caught pike. You go, kid. You guys want to say it? No. Ian? I'll do it. Here comes the release. See you, dude. He ate like literally like five feet off this rock. Really? Yeah. I really was not expecting it. I thought it was a bass. Cause he... I just said, let's get the release. After catching the pickerel, we decided to hike a trail within the park. This is gonna be a new profile picture. <laughs> No, like you really got, like he said, just don't step right in the middle. What do you mean right in the middle? No, 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 it's just a good old wood, not in the middle of the production rock. Once we finished the hike, we walked over to a small lake where I tried to catch something while the boys made lunch. What's the ratio we're dealing with? Uh, yes. Okay. I would say it's 60% PB, 40% J. After lunch, we went back to the site and just relaxed around the lake. We woke up to the coldest morning of the trip with a layer of fog rolling over the water. After admiring the beauty of this spot one last time, we packed up and hit the road for our next location. 